I have the privilege this morning from God to speak unto us what he has helped me to title, You Need Your Friends. Amen? Amen. Last week, and somebody last week, he gave us a word, uh, which was, you need the church. So as I spent time with God, he said, tell them again that they need their friends. So... I'll be preaching to you this morning um, on you need your friends. Amen? Praise the Lord. Uh, just help me the way, anywhere I preach this morning, I, there's a strong presence of God around me. I think it's because of, you know, what he has done. So my spirit is appreciating God and it's a heavy, my spirit is really connecting to God, you know, in, not in prayers, but in intense appreciation. So <clears throat> I will try and preach very well to the best of my ability. Amen. Amen. You need your friends. I have been told to tell you that this year you will need your friends. That's what God told me to tell you. And then he gave me the message. Come with me to John chapter 15 and verse 15. Let's go. John chapter 15 and verse 15. The Bible says in John 15 and verse 15, it says, Henceforth, I call you not servants. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have had of my father. I have made known unto you. Father, it is time to preach your word. Give us understanding. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing, let me preach. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Did you read that verse with me? He said, Hence what I call you not servant, for the servant knoweth not what? The Lord doeth. The do there are many things friends share. He says, The servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all the things I have heard of my father. I have what? Made known unto you. The value of friendship. It's important we understand it. Friendship with the Lord. Friendship with people. Very important. As I go on, you'll be getting understanding in the name of Jesus. But I'd like you to pay attention. Come with me again to Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. Sunday engineer, just make sure my mic is fine. Just help me. That's the only thing I want. <laughs> Proverbs 18. Reading from verse 24, Proverbs 18, but I will read verse 20, uh, only verse 24. It says, a man that had friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that what? Stick it closer than a brother. These are the word of God. When God speaks, they are true. And they are true. Ancient word, ever true. He said, there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. This is the word of God. You will get understanding. Friends are the most closest people to you. After your spouse, if you're married. And whether you like it or not, you believe it or not, they affect, they influence, and they help make a lot of your decisions. Directly, indirectly. Amen. Are you paying attention? You will always need friends. And friends will always influence your life. They will always influence your life. They will influence the decision you make. How you make the decision? Directly? Indirectly. So you have to be very careful 
to choose your friends. And it's commonly said, you know the popular saying, show me your friends and I will show you your future. It is true. It is very true. So my advice is, first of all, know your future. First of all, know your future before you choose your friends. Because friends will influence your future. Because your future will be determined by what your friends suggest it to be. Directly, indirectly. Very important. Don't forget, you will need what? Friends. You will always need friends. You will always need friends. The Bible talks about it, and I'll show you. You will always need friends. So it is important that a man or a woman, young or old, identify your future. And when you have determined your future, you have identified, you know, you know what you want to become in life. Then choose your friends. Can you get my sounds to be good? <laughs> I don't like the echo. Are you getting this things? Very important. So they say, choose your friend wisely. Have you heard that before? It's a good advice. And the reason is because you will always need friends and they will always influence you. So when you are told to choose your friend wisely, it's a good advice. You need friends. Friends that you can hang out with. Not the Facebook friends. <laughs> I've told you don't get deceived by this social media. No, that's pure deceit. Not Facebook friends. Friends that you can hang out with. You know, which are going to influence you positively. You need friends that are available. And friends that are, are Facebook friends available to you? They're not available. Don't be deceived by all the, the, those guys. Those who are owners of all those social media, they're making money. They're making money with mankind. It's okay. One way or the other, we are also using their services. Amen. But the friends on Facebook are not friends. There's a quote. A, I don't know if it's a popular quote. I mean, you must have heard of it before. It says, true others. Are you displaying it for them? True others. We become what? Ourselves. Hey, think deep on it. I meditated on that statement. True others will become what? Herself. True others will become what? Herself. Friends, environment, they contribute to what you become. What you think, what you do, what you become. Very important. You will think like your friends. Either you like it or not. If you have friends, you are going to think like them majority of your mindset will be suggested by them. Very important. Can you see how important it is? God is speaking, sir. God is speaking, man. So because we need friends, let's learn to build relationship. Because we need to build relationship. I will tell you why in the course of this preaching. We need to build relationship. Relationship that align with the vision. And the destiny God has given us. You have to build a relationship in that pattern. You need relationship. You will need men and women to succeed. To do everything that you want to do. You will surely need them. Okay, look at me now. Standing here preaching the word of God. Doing the things that is for God. Doing the things that is of God. Now, can I do it alone? No. No, I can't. I don't know anything about all these things. I know things about this. They know everything about all those sounds. You will always, every area of your life, you will always need friends. But you need to make sure the right ones are beside you. Friends that have helped some people's life. Friends that have what? Have marred some people's lives. Very important. <clears throat> Proverbs 27 verse 10. Let me show you something there. The scriptures will really help us. Look at the advice the word of God gave us in the Bible. Proverbs 27 verse 10. What does it say? Thy own friend. It didn't stop there. And what? Thy father's friend. Forsake what? Forsake not. Neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy what? 
calamity. See, look at what he's saying. For better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. He gave you the ultimate advice. He said, thy own friend. Don't do no what? Forsake not. You need friends. Then he goes further to tell you the deep meaning of it. He said, thy what? Father's friend. Father's friends. Somebody, somebody, somebody would have said, Ah, Pastor, I thought you said your parents are late. Yeah. You know, when, 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 when God is with you, he gives you everything. You know, you know. So when my parents passed away, he gave me, he, he doesn't want you to be fatherless or motherless. So he gave me fathers and mother. You know, that's why I say you should celebrate uh, my father. You know, very important. Because he's the one who gave me my wife. You know, so if he had said no, <laughs> this, this, this man would not be sitting down here, you know. And I remember when I was applying, you know, when I was applying. <laughs> you don't know these things, you have not married yet. So. <laughs> you, don't know, you, you don't know this thing. He doesn't know that he has to apply. <laughs> you thought that you're just going to take the woman and go? Oh, no, no, no. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I was applying, God has told me that this is my wife. You know, I was uh, I was telling her to help me get another lady. And God said, Kilo Inche, that's your wife. I said, ah, I didn't know. And my friend just confirmed it the next morning. I said, ah, oh boy. I just said, I should call you. It's, I, I, it looks as if God has given you a wife. And God spoke to me in the night. My friend confirmed in the morning. So I, I started the arrangement. You know, I said, ah. And then she, it was time for me to, let's do this marriage thing. I'm a brother, I'm, I have vision. I said, I'm doing PhD. I said, I'm my father, I'm my father. Ah. So I said, so we have to cross the idol of that man. Because <laughs> he said that, ah, my daughter is doing here, a PhD. Leave, him, leave her alone. <laughs> she has to finish her PhD. Oh, I can't wait to three years PhD. I so I had to go into prayer. Father, I speak to this man. <laughs> And then he's old. when God spoke to him, Daddy just said, Okay. All right. But you allow her to do finish the PhD. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I was I was doing PhD with her. It, true or false? <laughs> I I was in uh, what's the name of that building again? <laughs> I have to be sitting there by the side. So that anything this woman wants, <laughs> so that you can finish this PhD, so that this man will not say, You didn't allow my wife to finish. <laughs> So that is, you know, she finished it. <laughs> she finished it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, let me get back to my message. Very important, I'm saying. You will always need, <laughs> friends, relationship. <laughs> so he said here, he said, thy father's, thy own friend, and thy father's friend, forsake not. When my parents left this world, the friends <clears throat> of my parents, we are strong helpers. And I thank God that he helped me to connect with them. It was God that led me to them or led them to me. And so they began saying, oh, they, that they will help me because my father was uh, a civil servant. You know, so, you know, you, you made a lot of friends, you know, you uh, as, um, you know, in charge of, um, you know, finance. So you, you gave a lot of people contract. So the people that he was, he gave a uh, governmental contract. They, so when they, you know, when he passed over, they were now helping us. That's thy father's word, friends. They were now helping us. They were now assisting with wisdom, with, you know, to go through and prevail with government bureaucracies of delays to prevail fast. Always listen to the word of God. Somebody would have said, what am I doing with my father's friend? He said, thy own friends and thy father's friend forsake not. <laughs> forsake not. When I came to study in the UK, I was like, most of us, you know, we came, you just pay some money to the school fees, and then <clears throat> until you finish paying the entire school fees, you don't what? You don't graduate. It was my mother's friend. I didn't even ask him. <clears throat> it was my mother's friend. He called, ah, I heard that your mother is late. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, she was good to me. Oh. And then the man sent me 2,000 pounds. And it was used 
to complete my school fees my, for my masters. Thy friend, thy father's friend, for sickness. You will always need friends. That's why I said a man who has friends should show himself what friendly. You will always need friends. You will always need men and women who God will use as connectors. The woman who, who, who took us in prayers in the first seven days of our prayer in the, in the new year, she mentioned it. Do we always need connectors? Connectors. Learn to fuel. Learn to cherish relationship. Learn to build relationship. Because you need people. You need people. Somebody will call your name here. And all oh, this, my father's friend, they were ready to help. Well, maybe because they, found, they knew that it's late. But they were ready to, if I wasn't a pastor, they were ready to, you know, and I knew that's what there. But this is what God wants me to be doing. <laughs> Very important. So what am I saying? The Bible says, thy friend, do not forsake. And then it goes for that. Thy father's friend. Are you getting something? You need friends. Let's go further. The kind of friends you need. Number one, God-fearing friends. God-fearing friends. This kind of people will make you grow spiritually. Because you need to grow spiritually. You will also fear God. Because they fear God. Because they fear God, you will fear God. And I'll show you why. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 9, you can write it down and read it at home. It will be displayed for you on the screen. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Believe earnestly, you need wisdom in this life. And when you fear God, wisdom is, will be delivered unto you. Wisdom will be given to you automatically when you fear God. So you need friends that fear God. If you have friends that fear God, you will fear God. Because friends, I told you, influence. <laughs> influence. Your friends has a contribution in your life more than your brother. <laughs> your brother is there. The Bible also talks about the brother. You know, a brother is built for what? Adversity. The Bible tells you that. But majority of your life, you have spoken to your friends more than your brother or more than your sister. Are you with me? <laughs> Very important. Number two, the kinds of friends you need. Wise people, <laughs> wise friends, leaders, companions, Companions, you sure need more wisdom. Everybody needs more wisdom. And you can get it from friends who are leaders. Those who treat their wife well. If your friend treats his wife well, you will treat your wife well. If your friend is the one that doesn't care about his wife, it will rub on you. Very important. Proverbs 13, verse 20. In Proverbs 13, verse 20, look at what it says. It said, evil pursued what? In Proverbs 13, verse 20, are you there? It said, sorry, I was reading verse 21. It said, he that walketh with the wise shall be what? <clears throat> wise. But the companion of fools shall be destroyed. It's the same thing. True. If you walk with a wise friend, you will be wise. If you walk with a friend who is a leader, you begin to think like a leader. If you walk with a friend who is always winning, you begin to think like what? <laughs> Somebody who wins. <clears throat> Very important. Number three, <clears throat> let's go. The kind of friends you need. People with a vision. I call them builders. <clears throat> people with vision. When you walk with hardworking people, entrepreneurs, achievers, you will also have the same testimony as them. <clears throat> because they will influence you. You will begin to, if you are working with those who are entrepreneurs, those who have vision, hardworking people, achievers, you will begin to, think, you, because you will ask them questions. You know, in my language, it's like, Paulo she, she, are you doing it? Before you know it, you begin to get the same result. It's a robbing. Very important, this is we're talking about. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Let's see that scripture concerning that. Is somebody uh, timing me so that I can be on? Um, 1 Corinthians 15, 
Verse 33, what does it say there? It said, be not deceived. Is that the same in your Bible? Yeah. Evil communicators corrupt what? Yeah. Flip it. Just flip it. <clears throat> Evil communicators corrupt what? <laughs> good manners. What will be good communicators do? They add value to you. <clears throat> Are you getting it? Very important. These things that we're talking about. Proverbs 12 and verse 24. I'm giving you scripture so that it, it, it goes in. It goes in very well to our spirit. Proverbs 12 verse 24. What does it say? The end of the diligence. Is that the same in your Bible? Shall be a what? Rule. But the slot will be under what? Tributes. So imagine if you're working with a, a leader. Somebody whose hand is diligence. Be a rule means that will be the leader. He will be in control. He will also be in control. Very important. You will begin to think. You can't work with a property investor and you will not be thinking like because some things will drop from him to you. Are you getting it? If you want to be a professor, you can't be working with a, you know, discussing with a friend who is in that acad academia line <laughs> or profession. You will begin to think in that sense. Are you getting it? Something from influential friends will drop on you. Very important. Very important. If you have friends who are builders, who have visions, you will just see that you too, you'll be a builder. I mean, you know, you'll be an achiever. You'll be an entrepreneur. Let's go further. The kind of friends you need? Faithful people. <clears throat> Faithful people. Follow men and women who have integrity. <clears throat> Faithful people. Very important. Faithful people like Abraham, like Moses. Follow men and women who has integrity. If you want to be a man of integrity, a woman of integrity, follow men and women who have what? Integrity. Very important. So the, the people you marry are important. The friends you keep are important. John chapter 15. Let me show you there. John chapter 15. Just bear with me that I'm flying because of my time. In John chapter 15, I'll be reading verse 13. For you, I'll probably read verse um, uh, 14 also. John chapter 15, reading from verse 13. It's a greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friend. Ye are my friends, if ye what? Do whatsoever I command you. <laughs> Can you see? Very important. Let me show you the last scripture in James chapter 2, verse 23. You know, and then I'll speak on that a little bit, and then we'll begin to close. James chapter 2 and verse 23. James chapter 2 and verse 23. I'll soon be there. I know you are using digital Bible. James chapter 2, verse 23. Hear what the Bible says to you and I. James chapter 2, verse 23. And the scripture was fulfilled which said, Abraham believed God and it was what? Imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. Why was he called the friend of God? Because he had integrity. Well, I mean, and that's what we we'll say nowadays. But the Bible says what? He believed God. Are you getting it? He, he, he obeyed everything God tells him to do. And then he became a friend of God. And so you need to work with faithful people. And when you work with faithful people, you'll be faithful too. You will live in, you will have integrity. You'll be faithful before God. Hallelujah. Let's keep on going. Number five, help us. The kind of friend you need, help us. You will always need help in life. You will always need help. This kind of friends will rise up to help you. They can help you financially. They can give moral support. They will always be there. That's why you have to choose. I know some friends that I can call if I'm in, if I need, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in financial uh, issue. I know them. The friends, they can give you moral support. You will always know. Friends bring great support to your life during bad times. <laughs> Friends, they bring great support. That's what the Bible is telling you and I in Proverbs 27, verse 10 that we read. <laughs> Very important. Please, let's hear these things that God is saying. Number six, stand by friends. Somebody say, stand by friends. <laughs> yeah, out of your friends, there will always be ones that will stand out. Many times some of us call them, you know, best friends. 
you know, for some of us, Jesus is our best friend. <laughs> but, you know, everybody has a best friend, you know, eternally. Stand by friends. These are friends. They will show up in the hospital. If they ever hear that you're in the hospital, they will show up. These are standby friends. If they ever hear that you, you, you break down the motorway and you don't, I mean, you, your car broke down the motorway and you don't have uh, recovery. If you are driving and you don't have recovery, <laughs> breakdown recovery, that's error. <laughs> so you better online. If you, are, you have a car, you are driving and you don't have a breakdown recovery, that's a big error. You know, <laughs> even if you call pastor to come and join you on the motorway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm trying to pass across a message. Stand by friends. If for any issue, something happens when you're in the police station, they'll be there. They will come there. They will come there. They are not friends that they'll be discussing the issue on the phone. They will, they will be there. Stand by friends. <laughs> and you will know them. They will be anywhere you need your help. Amen. The things that we are talking about are very, very important. I'd like us to pay attention to. That's why carefully choose your friend. That's why I gave you that advice, which God put in my heart. Before, once you, first of all, determine your future, and then have a vision before you choose your friends. Very important. Parents, let's guide our children. The friends they have, it will definitely influence them. That's why I would tell my wife. When our children said, oh, they, 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 they want to go and, you know, spend some time with their friend. I want to know who this friend is. Very important. Amen. We're saying all this because you will always need friends. You will always need. And the, the part they play is an important part in your life because they will influence your life every Everything you do, I told you. You check it out. When you get to analyze it, the, the time I spent with my friend and the time I spent with my brother or his sister, you will see that the one you spent with your friend is more. So you need to make sure you're in the right circle. And yes. Because the circle of your friends will shape your future. You will arrive at a future where your friends suggest or move you to or push you to. Very important. Amen. <laughs> Very important. It was a friend that I moved with <clears throat> that made me, you know, know God and love God. <laughs> friend, I went to a school that, a university where <laughs> all sorts of issues happen there. It's quite a bit better now. I went to a school called Lagos State University. <laughs> and that school was known for you know, my, 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 my housemate was the, no, he wasn't my housemate. He was, he was next. Uh, I have my housemate, but he was next to uh, his own room and hostel was next to hers. And it was the head, the, the, the global head, not really global, well, the, the university head of the courts. You know, very important. And they gave me an invitation. That's what they do to new students when they come to school. But because God put me in the hand of a Christian, a believer, who was always checking on me. Friends, some people, some, some, some students' destiny has been destroyed because of friends. Very important. Amen? <clears throat> number seven, number seven, and then we'll be closing. The kind of friends you need, coaches, mentors. <clears throat> coaches or mentors, you need them. They will help you become a better version of you. And this is important. Coaches, mentors, you need to have them. You need to have them. I know my vision. The one God has given me. And I know men of God. I don't listen to any body who says he's a preacher. And I know those who have good lives. To be honest with you, I really don't follow any preacher. Only this man called Papa Dewey. And I, I just found out, okay, ah, this man is living a holy life. Because there are so many people preaching all sort of. They are all sort of. God didn't send them. God didn't send them. You know? But because men are just looking for miracle, miracle, miracle. People, people are, the reason is because some people are lazy. So 
They just want to fast track things. And then somebody comes to you and tells you, we'll be giving you this. And then you fall victim. That's what is happening in, in, you know, in one country in Africa. <laughs> Very important. But you need coaches, mentors. Who has integrity? Who will help you become a better version of you? Because year by year, you need to be a better version of you. <laughs> Very important. I cried to God. I want to be better than what I was last year. <laughs> but you would need somebody who will coach you. When you see champions, they have coaches. <laughs> when you hear about winners and you celebrate them, they have coaches. Tell me, <clears throat> which one doesn't have coaches? The, fo the football team winning the Premier League, they have coaches. <clears throat> All of them. <clears throat> Even to the guy playing golf alone, he has a coach. We all need this. And the beauty about coaches and mentors is that you are accountable to them. They don't joke. They're the kind of friends that, they don't joke. They're, they are the kind of friends that are like parents. They will tell you, no, 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 you're not getting it. This can't get you there. <laughs> Very important. So if we want to have victory at last, God is right. You need it, your friends. Amen. And may I tell you, because of the way the world is going now, Jesus is the true friend. You need him. The Bible says Abraham believed and he was called a friend of God. Make Jesus your friend. He will direct you. If you want to make somebody your coach or mentor and the person is not going to be good to you, he will tell you no. It will come in a dream. He will just give you a dream. You will understand that this person, God doesn't want me to relate with him. He will not spoil the person. But he will give you a message that you will understand that this is not you you should follow. God doesn't speak evil of any of his creation. But he will let you know that not this fellow. Amen. Very important, sir. Very important, man. Make Jesus your friend. Your best friend. Believe in Jesus today. Are you here in church or you are online? You're watching this video as a recorded session in any of the social media platforms? We need Jesus. He's the best friend. He will guide you unto all good friends.